season. Please briefly introduce us your background. Okay, uh, my I signed on uh, back in the days 2003 to 2013 uh, in the naval diving unit together with uh, Eddie. Ten back. years. Ten years. In the army, in the uh, army. navy, navy. Yes. Together with Eddie. Did Eddie. you all have any opportunity to do a mission together or not? Uh, we did train together. He was one of the instructors for the close quarter combat. Did he tekan you? Uh, it's the nature of uh, the people in NDU to tekan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, good. Yeah, I mean, I mean, all said, the army has created many leaders to creating the steel in us. And I've been in the army for good 13 years as well as a regular before I went on to serve my 34 years as a total, including my national service. Okay, good. That's interesting. And what happened? Immediately after your tenure, NDU uh, stint, you straight away jump into real estate? Uh, yes, in 2013, <clears throat> March I uh, came out. Uh, I joined a small firm, uh, District 65 back then. How can that mm. District 65 can be small? That is the whole of Singapore. Yes. A... <laughs> yeah, but it was a company name, I understand. And thereafter? Mm. Then I started focusing in uh, doing TOP. Okay. And then uh, I my breakthrough came in 2014 when I started doing uh, Interlace TOP. Okay. That's when I met my competitor uh, from ERA. Mm -hmm. And then she their team closed a lot. So in order to like take revenge, I marry her. Wow! Uh, so my wife, uh, Sheraton. <laughs> well, that's interesting. I started a business in District 65. A competitor who was closing more deals than him is to marry the person. Yes. <laughs> wow, and I, that's nice. Is I, she here? Uh, no, she uh, should be sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, that's the beautiful part of life, right? Yeah. So, I'm quite sure when after both of I'm a competitor and yourself being married, probably you all become a very potent force in terms of uh, creating a bigger network. Yep. Yeah. Uh, my most important because we did, she, she's in the business longer than me, so we share a lot of ideas. So, from my perspective and from her perspective, and then we grow together, uh, we have this dynamic going on. But most importantly, she's an agent, I'm an agent, so our time, so can, we can go shopping in the afternoon. Uh, go and watch movie in the afternoon, uh, but weekends we don't need to spend time together. So we are quite uh, individual in that sense. Okay, how have your family grown now? Uh, I have four dogs. Really, dogs? Ah? Real dogs, yeah. Oh, real okay. dogs. <laughs> uh, okay. Not a kid person, uh, but we are dog lovers. Oh, okay, okay, fine. Happily married and with four dogs, I can be very busy there. Uh, who bring out the dog? Uh, I have uh, two helper. So there are priorities, we told them that uh, you must take care of the dog, bring them out for a walk and then uh, we just focus on the playing. Oh. So they focus on the on how to take care of them. Yeah, because I think at the end of the day, the dog needs to have a balanced life as well. Okay, that's very interesting. Let me just give you a very brief introduction. Why did I call upon today Justin Quake to be interviewed? He has been consistent in the business, been in the business for a good 10 years right now. And not only he was a platinum achiever in the month of July, closing multiple properties, how house at Serangoon, Ecopolitan, Blue Waters, uh, Lum Lumia is it? Lumia and a couple of uh, HDB properties as well. Hold on, let me put on this Why am I standing myself? Can't even see the words. Okay. And when I even look at it in terms of production, two zero two one last year exceeded six hundred thousand uh, dollars and for two zero two zero as of now exceeded five hundred and fifty thousand dollars and has been a platinum achiever in the month of may platinum achiever in the month of january and has been consistent platinum achiever in the month of july and as well as at the same time you have a team and you call your team dream team Okay, with 75 people with you. Before I go into all these things, you said that you started with District 65, you married a competitor from ERA and we there. And what prompted you to cross over to us four years ago? Uh, 2018, where the team is starting to. Uh, we have, I, I don't actually have a team in ERA, but I do share that if you, are, if, if you want to do, if you see that you want to do, I will guide you. And everything. So I, I was sharing with a lot of people in ERA. But then it comes a point in 2018 where I feel that we needed more. We needed to, we needed more information, we needed more data, we needed a company that can take care of us. So I go, but I did not 
Jojo, everybody. I just took two of my downlines to come together with me, uh, Don Lim and Lester So. Then it slowly starts to spread, and because I help, I would like to think that I helped quite a lot of people before. So when I cross over, they decided to cross over with me. Wow. Yeah. And that's impressive. In a short period of three over years, just came with two percent, and today a team of strength of uh, seventy-five of you together. And I must also say, you're one of the more productive. Team, why I said you are one of the smallest team in terms of number of salespeople with the title of senior associate group district director. Congratulations to that. Yeah. Okay. I just want to know, what do you do to make your people being productive in your team? Uh, how how do you manage? What are the the support system that you provide? Uh, to every anybody who wanted to join, I will always tell them that there's three things that I would like to let them know first. The first thing is would be. The, there's no one size fits all, so it doesn't mean that I make my money in the TOP. That you have to die die do TOP, but I would like to know what's your work experience, what's your preference. Some people good at telemarketing, but some people are better at door knocking. So depending on your preference, we will customize what you do uh, when you started out. In fact, tomorrow I have a sharing session with four rookies who started who joined us six months ago. Uh, all make their money in different sectors. One is TOP, one is commercial, one is door knocking. One is uh, re- uh, commercial, so there's no one size fit all. Do what you want, and then it will be easier for success to come. Uh, second thing is uh, friendship before partnership. Uh, real estate is a really lonely business, so uh, I had my experiences. So that's why we took up a uh, office to make sure that uh, people can come and make be friends first. So once you're friends, then it's easier to ask for help. It's easier to ask, "Hey, can you share with me? Can you share with me?" If you don't know anybody. It is very difficult for you to open your mouth, unless you are you really want it. So my role in the division is to make as many uh, non-business setting cohesion. Then we can come and make friends. Don't talk about business. Then start to work towards a partnership. And the last one is the responsibility. Uh, the faster you recognize that you are responsible for your own success and your own failure, that's the day where you fly. Okay, I think if you realize this in a very short period of time, actually I had mentioned a couple of things. You know, in any team dynamics, before people start to perform, they must norm. Before they norm, there's likely to be a storm. Yep. So in any kind of a team, so what you're trying to do here is, instead of going through the storm, you create enough avenues of cohesion program so that the trust element grows within the group, and therefore they quickly normalize to an understanding of their strength. As you said, not one size fits all, and that's why the people can start to perform. Okay, congratulations, and that's why you call your. Why do you call your team Dream Team? Uh, uh, join our team uh, to chase your dream. Yeah, so. We 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 really has this uh, where we cross over. It, it has to date back where we cross over. Twenty uh, of us cross together, but I did not put twenty of them under my as my direct downline. That was that is the best way to make overriding the most amount of overriding. But I took out four leaders, and then from then I park people underneath. So everybody has uh, responsibility towards this division to grow it together, and then uh, that's why we have the co-founders. Of our dream team, Aloysius, Lim, Sherwin, Don, Winston. Okay, good. So it is about team effort. It's about everybody taking ownership responsibilities. But one of the key points that you said resonated very well. In fact, even uh, Gracelyn just mentioned the sales bootcamp, leadership bootcamp, give her a clear understanding about being able to uh, know the purpose. And that's what I said. As long as I quickly, these people realize what is it they want. Things fall in place. Okay, I also noticed, as I said, that other than managing your team, you have also been very active on your sales. In fact, indeed, I think you are a role model uh, in terms of uh, House of Serangoon, Ecopolitan, Bellwaters, um, Shaughnessy, Shaughnessy, Lumiere, uh, HDB, and there's another HDB. How do you get your clients? How come you're doing so much of sales on the ground? Uh, it has to date back to TOP. For example, like the uh, the house of Serangoon, uh, that the TOP in two zero one four. After Interlace, I went there. It's a ninety nine year uh, landed, so I was meeting owners there. In fact, for the and after the TOP, they finished giving out the keys. I rented about out about twelve units, and to date, I sold about eight of them. Mm. Then, 
and because the market is coming up and then to them to the investors it's just numbers so once the number matches then they will sell so i rented out the unit for eight years uh through three different tenants and then when the time is right i told them right the market is picking up so i think it's time to let go and then now we sold once it's complete then we will be uh, thinking of the idea to bring them to buy something else okay so this is about taking care of the client over the years in their real estate journey. So definitely, uh, what I look at it here is this, Justin Craig as a team leader and indeed a role model on the ground, uh, helping his clients is something that people can learn from. So you have the feelers of what's happening on the ground. Is there anything else that you'd like to tell uh, the listeners out there, Justin? Uh, really, it boils down to what you want uh, and what you treasure. The moment you find what you treasure, what you want, you have teammates that want to fight along together with you for the same vision. Uh, that's why you have a lot. Of, that's why you have a lot of uh, drive to do a lot of things. Uh, okay, maybe I wasn't want to touch on this, but uh, exactly one year ago, my good friend, mentor, brother Marcus Wong, uh, passed away very unexpectedly. Uh, one year ago, the, the wife called me at twelve uh, twenty-three a.m. It is. It is, a, it is a very important point of, in my life. So I was down for quite a while. Even now, the, the pain is still very raw. But uh, it kind of woke me up and said, anything can happen. Don't, don't, you have to live for the moment. As much as you want to make your money, you've got to take the time to spend it, spend the money with your loved one, with your friends and everything. So work-life balance got to strike it up better a bit. So if I can say anything out there, just do what you want because time is very uh, life is very unexpected you cannot expect life to go like that uh, yes certain uncertain things will happen and then that's when you will have regrets and everything even till now I still have regrets well, I have so many things I'll say to Marcus but uh, I will tell him later when I see him I mean I totally appreciate that what uh, Justin has mentioned you know actually I had a similar friend of mine in fact, uh, I call him as my soulmate. Uh, my wife was so envious about our relationship. Um, in fact, there was one, at one stage, I mean, uh, I'm not embarrassed to say that, my wife thought I'm not straight because I loved him so much. Uh, one week out of seven days, I spent five days with him. Yep. If he is in any crisis, if he call me, he said he got a slight road accident. I drop everything, I will rush. My wife says something, I say, call the tow car, Lord, what you want me to do? Yeah. So, you know, we were so close. And he passed on. I walked with him, uh, Bukit Tima on a Sunday. I walked, ran with him on a Wednesday, Macritchie. The following Saturday was a riverfront launch. I was giving a talk at the hotel. He went to Macritchie and ran on his own. And he had a heart attack. Younger than me. I was down. I cried my heart. And I totally share with you. That was one of my lowest moments because uh, it's like something was ripped off from me. And I started to ask this question. Why like that? But as you said, we all have to do and work our very best. Always say the Almighty has His plan. Every moment we live is to make a difference in the life of people and live meaningfully. So with that, thank you so much, Justin, you, for your sharing. In fact, indeed, a very great leader with a lot of heart, making a difference for his group of people and a very productive team. All the very best again. Thank you.